A well-known Democrat uses the Ku Klux Klan to try and make a few bucks in a fundraising appeal. Alan Grayson of Florida made a plea Monday night that included Klan members burning a cross. The T in that cross helps spell out Tea Party. The text follows with, now you know what the T stands for. Well, the black community doesn't need to be reminded of the horrors perpetrated by the KKK, yet their so-called leaders remain silent. Former Representative Alan West wants answers. Grayson has refused to apologize. Where's the NAACP and Ben Jealous? Where's the National Urban League and Mark Morial? Where's Representative John Lewis, who is from Georgia, who marched with Dr. King, who, as I was growing up, was my representative as a young man in Atlanta, Georgia? Where, where are the voices of the Congressional Black Caucus, Reverends Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson? Well, Grayson has refused to apologize, remarking simply, if the shoe fits, wear it. I mean, there's so much to say about this. You, got you, know, the th you know the thing that amazes me about it? First of all, Grayson is, uh, uh, believe me, I'm not saying it was done Grayson, but, uh, but beyond that, it seems to be, remember when, when Bill Clinton did the sister soldier moment when he separated himself out and, and, and it was, that was smart. Why Jesse Jackson and Sharpton don't take advantage of one of these things and stand up, they get a lot of good press out of it, and who's going to be against them? Why doesn't uh, President Obama? Yeah. I mean, yeah. why, why, wait, why doesn't President know. Obama do it? I don't know the answer to that, Dan. Why doesn't he become the leader? Why don't you call him? Because they decided not to comment. Yeah. The New Hampshire state legislator that said the horrible thing about Obamacare and slavery, mm -hmm. President Obama actually talked about that in a speech and called him out on it and, and tried to label the entire Republican Party that way, but they refused to comment on this today and to, and to tell Grayson to back I off. I think everybody's very really gracious will shoot him. You make a great point, and we made some calls to find out where did the Democratic black leader stand on this issue. We want some accountability. We want answers. We want to know your position. Here's what we got. Okay. Congressional Black Caucus, no comment. <laughs> Charming. Jay Carney, I haven't spoken with the president about Alan Grayson's KKK fundraising email. So why can't you just comment? Well, there you go. Reverend Jesse Jackson for the Rainbow Push Coalition. Um, Micah will email or call me back with something. We're waiting. We're, we're still waiting. All right, Al Sharpton, National Action Network. <laughs> Emailed, no response. We're waiting. We'll just wait, I guess, till 6 o'clock or something like that. The uh, National Urban League. We emailed, don't have a response back. NAACP didn't get back to us. We did leave a voicemail, a very courteous one, in fact. Representative John Lewis, we called and we emailed. I'm beginning to get a complex, like we're unpopular or something. And then, of course, you know, their usual what stuff. What did Beyonce say them. about it? We, Bob, we're not going to let you distract us from the, this important point. It's actually always. a decent question. Um, so, <laughs> because it's not about race, it's about politics, and it's always been about politics. This would be a great opportunity for someone to step up and take a sh and just tell um, Grayson, shut up. Alan Grayson could, could on, honestly, he may be mentally deranged. I, there is something wrong with that congressman. He I mean, let me tell you something. Do not look, go into his office. I've been there. with him he before was, a long. He was removed from Congress for a couple of years, and then he won his seat back somehow. People in Florida, I mean, what are you thinking about? But Ben Jealous, Mark Moriel, Reverend Al, Jesse Jackson, take take this moment to, to, to reprimand him. He's out of line. He's absolutely ridiculous. Tell him. It would be great for them, but they should uh, do it. Uh, it's just sad, good. though, because this is a real void of leadership, and, you know, we're waiting for these responses, and they just don't seem to care enough to say anything, Greg. Well, I'm just curious. Uh, well, by the way, Alan Grayson is so ugly, his pock marks have pop marks. Uh, okay, that was where a did he, Where did he get the cross? My, my theory is he burned that cross, that he might actually be a member of the KKK, because usually racists are so smart and devious that they behind the smearing of others in order to propagate their own secret racism. Grayson has yet to respond to my question, are you in the KKK, sir? He hasn't responded, and I'm asking him he's now. He's a racist. What, what, well, he's, he's obviously a racist. A racist. Obviously, it's like Chris Knopf. Chris Knopf said he would horsewhip the Tea Party. Who horsewhips? Slaveholders. Slave owners horsewhip. Apparently, racism runs in these guys' blood. I, I had a uh, okay. conversation with Greg before the show on Good. this, and he, he he's always he's so smart. He writes so smart. He does not call on you a racist. So don't get don't get. <laughs> are your, you? Oh, yeah. Are you? No, no, you are Just be careful. Greg? I'm telling. No, no. Just be careful here. That's all I'm saying. And this has been happened before. I, I look. I'm, there's some. What's Greg going to need security? No, no, no. It's not that. There have been lawsuits against people who've been called. No, racist. I'm just using his his own reasoning but, against you him. You know, I think the idea of the cross is an interesting concept myself. We thought that thing. You know, you know, it's a great. 
you're right. Yeah, you took my that. line. But the yeah. fact is, Gracious, the head of the Pelosi should say something about him. They should throw the I, son of a bitch out. I think he's. I, I you know what? Now, now I listen, does anyone else want to I, ruin my no, block more? No. Anybody else want to <laughs> blow it up like TNT dynamite? Anybody? No, Bob. You know my my point is this. Oh my my point is this. For the longest time, there are people on the left that use racism to disarm their adversary, so the adversary cannot have a debate. All I'm doing is turning it back on them. I hear what I know exactly what you're doing. Okay. A la Chris Matthews the other day when yeah, you yeah, yeah. destroyed him. Yeah, it's the only, it's the only way it's going to work tingle? now. The only okay. way you can do is call them mm -hmm. racist because they're they're never going to stop until you do it. Mm -hmm. Why couldn't I?